Yeah, so Ding Yi, uh, as you can see in these, this example of his painting from 2016, hit upon the motif of a cross. Uh, well, actually the motif of the cross, it could be this way, it could be uh, an X shape, it also includes lines, dots, all these geometric forms. He hit upon that in the late 1980s when he was uh, working in the evenings. During the daytime, obviously at art school, he had to do the courses he was assigned to do, and he and his friends were experimenting in the evenings. And so from around the 19, early 1990s, he kind of hit upon this idiom as his, as his way of doing something that no one had ever really done before. I think it's right that the motif itself is meant to be without meaning. It doesn't have, it's not meant to mean plus or times, or in Chinese a plus means shi, means ten, it's not meant to mean ten, it's just a mark. So you could say it is iconology without iconography. In other words, it's an icon or a form that doesn't have a symbolic meaning. And so instead, you are forced to, if you want to derive meaning from it, to derive meaning from the way that it's depicted, the use of the media. So for example, here you see lots of different layers. The artist has cut through multiple layers of paint to create these banked up different colors that so goes from white to black to green and then you can see the wood medium at the bottom and you can so you can look at it at a local level or you can step right back and you can see big patterns in emer emerging in this kind of constant shifting associations that we bring to this because we don't have any anchors in meaning as such so the mind plays and that really is the joy and the excitement of looking at dinghy's work this motif so simple yet extraordinarily complex.